In a market that's overflowing with overdrive pedals, what's so special about the Ages by Walrus Audio? Well, it has a control for how much dry signal it lets through, and it also has five different modes. So this thing is really versatile. Does it sound any good? That's what we'll check out after the intro. Hello and welcome to another video with me, Elmo J. Karjalainen, and it's good to have you along. You can call me this guy uh, if my name is tricky to pronounce, or just Elmo. That's not too tricky. Um, today I'm taking a look at the Walrus Audio Ages Overdrive, which is a five-mode overdrive, and the modes basically you have one, two, three, four, five, and they get more gain-y, more gain-y, the higher up you go. So. Um, it also has a dry control, which controls the amount of dry signal going through, which is really interesting. And then it has your basic bass treble, volume and gain. Uh, in and out, which is really handy. On off, which is also handy. An LED and a picture of an elephant on the front. The elephant looks angry. So, there's an elephant in this room. I'll get this hooked up and start playing. Okay, what else do I have going here? I have a custom mahogany strat with Seymour Duncan, YJ and Fury pickups. Those are stacked humbuckers, by the way, and they don't sound like your regular single coils, because people have been wondering. Um, I also have a Marshall Plexi, and my clean sound is as follows. <laughs> As you might hear, I also have some delay in the loop, uh, because I like delay, and uh, hey, I like delay. And my clean sound isn't entirely clean, so, but that's the way I like it. I also have a Fender Ingve Malmsteen Overdrive and a noise gate. Uh, the Fender is so that you have a point of reference if you're new to the channel, so you know what kind of thing I usually like. Uh, and for me, if I want to compare the ages with the, f the Fender at some point. Um, the noise gate is because the Fender does this. And the noise gate does that. It turns the noise off and lets through the noise that I actually make. <laughs> A load of twaddle. <laughs> um, my playing. Okay, so the ages. Um, I'm not going to go through uh, what all the controls do in all the different modes because we'd just be here for ages. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'll get me coats. I'll go through the modes and uh, tweak the controls when I and see, show you what the controls do in one mode and then they react differently in different modes according to the manual um, and, but yeah you'll get a fairly good kind of overview of what it sounds like so here it is with everything set halfway except for dry which is off <laughs> This is in mode one. So very moderate uh, so far, and very good sounding as well so far. Okay, 
Okay, let's uh, see what the dry thing does. So I'll just add dry. <laughs> Okay, not a huge difference with these settings, but I'm guessing that the difference will be larger when you, uh, if you do something more slightly extreme with the pedal. So let's uh, or let's tweak, tweak the EQ, um, a bit more treble, a bit less bass, maybe. <laughs> Add the dry again. Okay, uh, let's add gain. Actually, let's drop gain and just max out the volume. See what that does. Slight bit of hiss going on. So I'll just add the noise gates. <laughs> Had gain. Roughly 10, 11 o'clock now. Now it's a quarter past four. <laughs> even more gain. So it's now on two o'clock. <laughs> The drive, drive, the dry. <laughs> Drop dry, add gain, let's max out the gain. Not entirely max it out because it was actually leaking through, the noise was leaking through the noise suppressor. Um, so I just dropped gain a bit. <laughs> Okay.
Okay, so, so far we've only done mode 1. Let's go through the modes, keep these settings at least for now. Mode 2. Okay, so um, there's a clear difference between m modes 1 and 2 compared to 3, 4 and 5. But I think the differences are quite small between 1 and 2 and between 3, 4 and 5. So uh, let's just do one chord. I dropped gain and level a bit because it, again it was leaking through the noise gate. differences between the modes um, but they're not huge it keeps kind of the same characteristics uh, all the way through which can be a good thing some people might like it some people might not um, so we're now in mode 5 uh, with bass uh, well you can see the pedal on the screen and uh, let's add dry <laughs> the bass and treble controls the other way around so we have more bass and less treble <laughs> might be nice with a brighter amp than the plexi although that's not too dark either let's let's max out the treble and and roll back the bass all the way. Uh, 
had a bit of bass. <laughs> gain and volume and compare it I'll switch it to mode one I think that might have been my favorite one uh, drop dry and just compare it to the fender Ingve Malmsteen <laughs> Okay, so what do I say? Uh, what is there to say? I think it sounds great. Uh, the dry thing on mid jig doesn't do too much with my setup. I'm suspecting it might do more if you have uh, run it, you're running this into a totally clean amp. Uh, there might be more of a difference. It does something but not a lot with this setup. Uh, the two modes, uh, two modes, the five modes, um, sound a bit like each other, but there is definitely a added gain when you go through them. I think it sounds absolutely great. Um, I can't criticize it for sound. It's very tweakable. Um, there's plenty of gain on offer, so it does more gain than the Fender Ingve Malmsteen, which is great if you have, uh, if you want a pedal that you uh, want to use with a totally clean amp as well. This could well do the trick. Um, my only real criticism is that uh, it's not actually as versatile as it seems if you think of playing live, because uh, what I would like is for it to have two foot switches, so you could. Uh, program one sound, which would be your favorite sound, and then have another kind of dialed in on the pedal, uh, which would make it a lot more versatile. Now, I realize I am describing what most Strymon pedals do, um, but, but it's just such a good thing to have. And uh, I don't know if I remember to say this cost uh, 209 euros here in Europe, which is uh, quite a bit of money for an overdrive pedal, but uh, this thing does deliver. It feels well made. Certainly the, the on-off switch feels much better than on the Fender Ingve Malmsteen, which I think the on-off is just some cheap, I don't know what. Uh, it, it, it's, it feels well made, uh, it feels robust, and it sounds great. So what can I say? Uh, if you want to watch more of my gear reviews, there is a playlist here somewhere. Um, there's also a playlist with uh, my music if you want to check that out. Uh, click like if you liked the video. I hope you did. And uh, comment, let me know what you thought. And uh, 
Subscribe if you haven't already hit that bell notification thing and join me on Patreon. You get a bunch of exclusives, all my music and access to my Guitar Academy. And uh, you can pay as little or as much as you want. There is a link in the description to that. I hope to see you there. I hope to see you in another video here. And above all, I hope you have a very nice day and see you in another one. Take care. Goodbye.